So the project I've been working on today is uh, a way to make syncing sound to my 16mm camera easier. And basically I've just devised a system which makes a beep whenever the camera stops and starts recording. And <clears throat> I've made it as simple as I can really. Um, if I wanted it if I wanted it to work the way I wanted it to, without me having to press an extra button, uh, I would have had to either use a microcontroller or go into stuff like uh, logic gates and delay logic. But basically all I want is when the camera starts, a short, I get a short loud beep out there, and just before it stops, I get another one. So here's what's meant to happen. So that's the camera recording, and that, that's when it stops, so that would get picked up on the audio recorder. Uh, the way I was syncing my sound before was, I was just trimming the, the audio file so that it was just when the camera was recording, so that I was listening for the sound of the camera and then just trimming the audio file to that, so that all that was in the audio file uh, was just when the camera was recording and that was difficult because the camera was quiet and it got drowned out by the sound of the car so it was quite difficult uh, but with this these beeps will be more obvious so to make this system I've had to tap into three connections um, the motor is switched on the negative uh, it's, it's like an N-channel MOSFET or maybe an NPN transistor, so it's the negative that actually gets switched and the positive is just connected whenever uh, this button here is pressed in partially or fully. Uh, basically whenever you press this button it actually powers up the camera. When that switch there is on, when this button is pressed in, that starts up the exposure metering. When you press it in fully, the camera operates. Okay, so here's a circuit diagram of what I've created. So, inside the camera, you saw the motor minus and motor plus. That's just coming straight off the NPN transistor. In parallel with those, we have the capacitor. Uh, the value isn't critical, and it might not even be needed uh, for the, for the relay. Then we've got the diode to prevent voltage spikes from the relay. Uh, that's really important. Uh, and then from the motor positive uh, that's getting switched through the relay so whenever there's power going to the motor that relay is energised so then that makes power available to this switch um, so basically uh, that connects to the buzzer and then off there that goes to the battery negative uh, not the motor negative or anything like that it has to go to battery negative and then you basically just operate this system uh, as, I as I showed previously in this video and then with that you can generate um, sync tones to help you sync up your audio. <laughs> 